Oh, hi everyone. My name is Baron, and this is Crystal. Crystal, oh, she's having a rest. Um, yeah, I was wondering if I'd get some help from someone. See, um, oh, it's a bit to unpack, but I need a home. Crystal and I need a home, and um, uh, we haven't got any money, but we've got um, um, sentience. I think that deserves a place to be, and um, we. Um, are kind of lost in the world and we're on the road and um we've got nowhere to go so i've got an ndo's plan um and i can um draw on that plan um, um but i'm unable to contact the NDIS. NDO, this is my problem this is for political reasons i'm a bit of a political nightmare um i'm a failed whistleblower and i've never been able to report crime to police and I also am locked out of getting a lawyer. And this has meant um, a huge amount of political um, uh, retribution for me for calling out corrupt conduct in Australia, as was my moral and ethical obligation for democracy and humanity. So um, it's a difficult position. Um, I'm, a, I'm a kind person. I, I, I feel like I have to say that I'm an all right person on my merits. I am a merit-based person, I'm a secular ethicist, I'm non-violent, and um, I've been stitched up. I'm awaiting sentencing um, for um, crimes that I've been stitched up with um, by corrupt police and um, a justice system that's um, also corrupt um, and doomed to fail because I'm a targeted individual of the Australian government. Um, I can demonstrate that very easily. Um, I've never got any money from the government when it's um, been um, dependent on the decisions of public officials. So for example, I've um, never got my work cover. I've never got my HF income assist. Um, I'm banned at AFCA. I'm rejected at the Australian Human Rights Commission when my human rights abuses have been documented um, as being um, severely um, inhinged on and no one will report on it. This has been difficult for me because as soon as someone reports on it, I'll be fine. Um, but um, um, I've, um, I find it difficult to kind of get through my head what's happening. And um, my heart knows what's happening. It's been a hard road. I suffer from um, schizophrenia and um, also a cognitive um, brain impairment or a memory malfunction. It's, affects my, um, the way I think and organisational skills because um, three years ago um, this abuse has been going for so long um, that I killed myself and um, it was deemed a fatal injury in a lethal attempt and I was um, revived um, from um, certain death and that happened inside a public hospital um, for which now my tragedy has been whitewashed and um, there's been no um, compensation or settlement or even an acknowledgement that um, they owed me a duty of care. So um, this persecution's literally already killed me. And um, it's uh, for me, I'm not suicidal, but um, I do believe that this consistent financial abuse and um, coercive financial control and removal of my rights and removal of my um, legal rights and human rights and my inability to um, report things um, to any authority um, is putting my life at imminent risk. Um, and this is true um, of just a life when you need particular things such as um, you need privacy, you need um, freedom from oppression, you need freedom from violence, you need a home, you need water, you need food and you need um, um, civil liberties, you need privacy, all the things that um, normal people have are things that have been taken from me. So I don't have those things anymore to be able to um, rebuild my life. Um, and um, I need the help of other people. I can't um, do it all by myself. It's impossible that anyone be an island. <laughs> but um, I feel like I'm on my own island. And um, I really need the help of the other humans. I actually love other humans. And I love being on the earth and I love um, just, um, nature and just being peaceful and just 
trying to um, um, exist um, in an equitable way in the world, but um, it's diametrically opposed to me. So, for example, I'm banned at AFCA, or I'm, the Australian Human Rights Commission won't listen to me. I, I don't get any settlements. I don't get access to the law or equality before the law. I don't have a home. These things are all in breach of um, the UN Human Rights Charter of a person with a disability, which Australia has ratified in 2008. And um, I've been protesting this for a long time, very long time. And um, you might actually know me from my prior life. My name is Baron Dodger, but my old name was um, Dr. Rich McLean. I'm a doctor of philosophy, or was, still am, I don't know. And um, I wrote a book called Recovering a Cured, A Journey Through Schizophrenia, which was published by Alan Anunnan. And it was um, um, a, a, a niche a success for such a unique book. And um, sadly for me, I was vilified um, for that um, book. And I was um, working at the Age newspaper at the time. And um, I, was, I was humiliated by the Herald Sun. And I was fired by the Age. So um, I've had a difficult time of um, my public um, 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 public narrative in the world. So, you know, and depending on uh, who's got the money now, I'm either too mad or not mad enough. So, um, yeah, me and Crystal are just sitting here and we're um, hanging out. We're, um, we're somewhere in Australia and um, we'd like some help, please, if we could. Um, what we need is a home. We need a place to be. Um, we need an advocate, um, which is very important. I've been very fortunate with my friend Trav. He's been an amazing man, and um, he's really helped me um, survive um, the conditions which were created in which to um, um, either jail me or imprison me, so um, or force my death. So I know it sounds hard to believe, but um, that's the case, and I'm I'm kind of free at the moment. I think if authorities really wanted to find me they know where I am. But um, for the moment, I can't disclose my location um, for fears of my um, political um, safety and also for fears of um, violence because um, this conspiracy to pervert the course of justice is actually employs violent tactics because um, I've been hospitalized seven times in the last two years. Um, one of those times I was in hospital and they went to my house and under the police and the hospital that I was in, they got everything I owned and they took it to the tip and then dumped me in a homeless shelter. And um, the second, one of the other times I was in there, I was um, violently attacked by a covert undercover government thug. That's not okay um, when it's an organized and um, intelligently designed maiming and, and violent attack on me which happens inside a public institution and organised and supported um, by the authorities. So, isn't she beautiful? Hello, Crystal. Can you say, I love you? Can you say, can you say, I love you? Can you say, I love you? I, I love you. I love you. <laughs> we love you. We love the world. All we want is a place to be. We haven't asked for much. And I just want to say um, that um, I've submitted a whistleblower document, a public interest disclosure in the last short while, another one, and hopefully I'm going to get some traction and some protection. And if I don't, then it's an indication of um, this malice from the federal government as a targeted individual and that I'm asking the authorities to relieve me of the abuse when they're my abusers. And that's my difficulty. I've got nowhere to go today. I'm on the run. I've got nowhere to be, I've got no money, my human rights are trashed, I've got no legal help, I've got no advocate, I've got no home, I've barely got food. Trav, thanks for supporting me, and I hope that um, you'll be able to um, support me, Baron Dodger, and um, oppose this systemic injustice, and please allow me uh, somehow um, to find a place to be. I'll let you um, message me underneath, and um, please um, have a little bit of compassion because I've met, never met harm on anyone the way harm happens to me every day. And I'm grateful for my life. And I just want to move forward with Crystal the Husky. You're a beautiful girl. Yes, you are. And um, we thank you for your help. And um, thanks for sharing this video as well. Okay. 
Have a good day. Bye.